Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take uh, two separate scan projects, two separate vehicles. Uh, we're going to import them into the same project and then I'm going to show you how to manipulate the two vehicles, uh, say if you were trying to set them up as uh, they were maybe when they impacted in a crash. So as you can see, we've first got our uh, first vehicle this is a already registered project, green lights, and we can load it up here real quick and uh, take a look at it. Now that we've got our scans loaded, there's no project point cloud created on this yet. Let's take a look in 3D view. And as you can see, uh, this scan has been clipped and uh, we've got pretty much just a vehicle in a parking lot. Now what we're going to do, because we're going to be bringing in a separate vehicle uh, from another scan, we need to create a cluster that contains this vehicle. So by right-clicking on our main scans folder, going to New, we're going to have a cluster, and we'll just call that Water Truck. And we'll take all of the scans that we see here, and we'll drag and drop them into that, that particular uh, cluster. And we will update it. We can actually jump into registration again. We'll go just to this scan pro cluster here uh, because we don't need to have the full scans folder uh, completely registered because uh, that is not going to actually uh, work when we've got two separate projects in the same project. Uh, dynamic here. So we're just going to go automatic registration, top view cloud to cloud, should only take a minute. And a quick registration verification and to explore. All right, so now that we've got our base vehicle, uh, we can go ahead and import our secondary vehicle. There's several different ways that you can import um, whatever other project. You can come down to the drop menu for import, uh, dig through the files that you're looking for, or uh, just drag and drop. Uh, sometimes that's the easiest when you're already in your project. Uh, grab the files, drag and drop them over into your tree on the left side. Once they populate, uh, then we're going to just quickly create a secondary cluster and Name that car, drag and drop them into that cluster, and we'll go ahead and save this. Once saved, we've got this group of scans. Now we can go through and again register these scans. Uh, once they're registered in your previous project, though, uh, they should be just fine. Let's go ahead and load them up. And we've got our secondary vehicle. Now, if we take and load this project with the two separate vehicles scanned in two separate locations, we take a look at them in correspondence view. We should have the vehicles in two completely different planes to most likely different angles, as we see here. Well, what we can do is we can get the vehicles close to each other. And once they're close, we can use some of the other tools that are available in scene to really dial it in and give us what we're looking for.
Now to really tweak our vehicle here, we can uh, double click on our cluster here, go into transformation, and you see these different X, Y, and Z rotation angles and positions. So as we can see, we've gone down to rotation angle uh, and X, and we'll just play around with it a little bit, and that's going to that's going to move the car pretty significantly. Now what we're looking for. And there's another angle that we're not looking to you uh, to work with. And again, that might be helpful. As we get up in here into the actual vehicle, as you can see, we've got different tools to work with. What we're really, really interested in is just the idea of once we get in very, very tight and very close with these, uh, with the two vehicles, that we can make small adjustments. And by looking at the project from different angles, you can get more or less the type of minor detail adjustments that you're looking for. And again, when you're in the transformation bars for each of your vehicles, this is something where you can go by increments, changing the number numeric values or going by the slide bars. And sometimes when you get into very, very tight situations and you're really trying to make adjustments very, very close, you may want to change the numeric values.